hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series and now guys in this video we are going to make the quantity increment and decrement option okay in live wire okay so guys now let's get started so let's move to this quantity button guys now let's get back to this path okay so first step let's go to routes web.php and search for your route so here you see that collections category and the product okay so collection category slug product slug which goes to the front end controller inside the product view function so let's move here is our product view function guys and now let's move to that blade and you see that we are having a live wire component to view this product so let's go to this blade live wire component blade okay and this is our quantity increment and decrement button so now guys first step when you click on this minus like decrement let's create that wire colon click equal to double quotes here you tell increment quantity okay let's copy this oops this is minus right so it should be decrement let's tell de decrement let's copy the function name and paste that completely here for the increment quantity okay and now when you send this quantity data let's tell wire colon model equal to quantity count n t i t y quantity count as simple so it's very clear to understand and same variable will be using to display here so let's tell dollar this of quantity count as simple guys and now when you click this it goes to the function of your live wire controller component okay so how can you find that let's get back to that normal laravel blade and here you move live wire front end product and view so let's go to that app http now start with the live wire inside live wire we have a front end then product and view so product and we get that view.php perfect so now guys inside this component live wire component we have to create one function and now guys let's copy that function name whatever we have given here decrement quantity let's copy that and paste here so this will be for the decrement quantity and same function we are going to create for increment quantity let us copy and paste again and this is going to be your increment quantity let's copy that function name here that click and paste it that's it guys so as simple now you can see we have created the wire colon model this is the variable let's copy that and create a public variable just add comma and dollar that's it and by default it should be one okay so now this variable you are going to access in your input of quantity okay as simple guys now you can just get back to your view let's refresh and you see the output is going to be same okay so there is no changes and now guys once you go to your live wire documentation on the quick start itself here you can see add a counter functionality let's go there and you'll find some code so here by default you are setting zero and this is the counter increment so guys we are going to copy the same logic so what we can do let's get back let's copy this and for the increment you are going to do plus plus dollar this off quantity count okay which is plus plus and same it goes with your decrement that is minus minus as simple guys and now let us just check the output so here we refresh so now guys let's click on this increment button so here you see it's incremented to 2 when you click 3 it's going to be 3 but what is misbehaving with this let's click here you can see that it's hiding so it's a simple code guys you need to just 
add that when your wire coolant target let's copy this and just add here when you're removing that on the load of when this target is called that time only remove it or else ignore that as simple now you can get back let's refresh once again guys now let me increment it to increment to done and now let's decrement so it goes to one and let's click once again it goes to zero but we don't want zero and let's click once again decrement here it goes to minus one okay which we don't require so let's just validate that using the condition if condition so let's use the if condition over here open and close so first step you are going to check this quantity count let's check here quantity count which is lesser than 10 so while incrementing i don't want more than 10 and while decrementing it i don't want below 1 okay so let's make it to 1 and change this greater symbol okay as simple guys now let's save and you can just check increment 3 and now let's decrement to 1 and if i am clicking again 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 how many ever times if i click it's going to be 1 and now if you go to 10 and now let's increment it it doesn't go okay but you can make it to 9 all set so now guys uh, let's make this not typeable over here so whatever if you require you should not be able to set that so let's give that read only let's get back to the blade okay and just add read only that's it so you cannot edit that refresh yep so here you cannot edit it that's it so guys in this video we have successfully learned how to create the quantity increment and decrement using live wire okay so guys let's continue next video about new topic so in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share